Welcome to the FX panel installation video for Mac. If you're using a Windows computer, make sure to check out our Windows installation video. First of all, you need the file. So what you want to do is you want to go to fxpanel.com and click on the login area. And there you can log in with your username or email and password, or you can log in with a social ID. That's what I'm going to do. And here you'll find the downloads area. And within the downloads area, there are all the purchases you've made and you can download there instantly by just clicking on that button here. So that's what I'm going to do. I download the FX panel and the FX Ray Essentials bundle. And what you actually get is a .zxp file, which is the actual panel and a .fxp file, which is the bundle or the presets that can be added to the panel once it's installed. The easiest way to install the FX panel is by using additional software and we recommend the Anastasis extension manager or the ZXP installer. Um, they are both free and pretty similar. The extension manager is also able to remove uh, the panel while the ZXP installer is really just for installing. Let's get started with the extension manager. I just double click on the file I just downloaded. The only thing you need to do is just hit the install button, navigate to your downloads folder and select the ZXP file. Click on open, enter the password. So you get a confirmation that the file was moved. And here it is. All you just need to do is uh, restart Photoshop. Um, by the way, you should close Photoshop before installing a panel in general. If you want to use the ZXP installer, just double click on the DMG file and drag the ZXP installer icon on your applications folder. Then navigate to your applications and open the ZXP installer. You probably will get a message that asks you if you're sure that you want to open it, just hit open. And the only thing you need to do now is to drag the FX panel as ZXP file on that icon. And once you've opened Photoshop, go to Window Extensions and here's the FX panel. And the thing you notice is that there are no presets at all. So what you want to do is you want to hit the Load Preset button. Select the FX Ray Essential .fxp file and click Open. And now you've got the confirmations. All presets are imported. And you can get started using the FX panel. Enjoy!